this is Bulletproof Warm Up session number eight. And to kick things off today, we're going to do an L-sit progression. So first up, you'll do just a tuck hold, and this can be done on either a box, as I'm showing you here, or on parallettes. So the goal is to hold for a total of 60 seconds. If you need to break during that 60 seconds, that's fine, but you're just trying to work up a total of 60 seconds. Just trying to have your knees at about 90 degrees. Then you're gonna get two medium weight dumbbells. You don't wanna get dumbbells that are too light, uh, as well, otherwise they, need, they do need to be reasonably weighted uh, to get the purpose out of this. So this will be a renegade row. So you'll have your feet a little bit wider than normal in a push-up position, and you're just rowing until the dumbbell touches your chest. So you'll go 15 reps each arm there. Then you'll take uh, a box or some kind of step uh, and set it up. Now this can be used uh, whatever height uh, is comfortable for you. Typically guys uh, and girls should be okay with a 20 inch box. And so you're gonna do a tempo pistol, which just means a slow controlled pistol on the way down. And when you stand up without putting that foot on the ground, you'll then come into a lateral step up. Right? And then try and control it on the way down. If you can't get all the way down into a pistol, that's fine. As I show here, if you can only sort of go down to a certain point and then you sort of say, oh, that's as far as I can go, then come up, that's fine. Just go as low as you can and step up, right? So we're trying to do three reps each leg. It's trying to be as slow and controlled as we can. Right. So with that, as I said, just go as low as you can go unsupported. Try to do this without supporting yourself on a pole. Just go as low as you can, work on sending those hips back. All right. So the animal today is the scorpion. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into a push-up position and then you're going to flip one leg over at a time and then follow that leg with your arm. So you can see my back leg goes over and then I rotate the rest of my body. If you are unable to, to do this, even just starting from a push-up position and trying to bring that back leg as far over as you can and then kind of rolling over to it. Just try and play around with some of the movements, but trying to get about five meters each direction with that movement. All right, round two, if you're able to, you're going to progress to an L hold, or an L sit hold. Right? So this can be once again done on either a box or a parallel. just trying to build up to 60 seconds total. As before, if you need to rest during the 60 seconds, that's fine. We're not accumulating 60 seconds, just a total time attempting it of 60 seconds. Right? Even if you can only bring your feet just off the ground, uh, that's okay, but just try and keep your knees locked out for that. Then with your renegade row, again, as you can see, push up position, rowing one dumbbell at a time up to my chest, having your feet a little bit wider than you normally would for a push up just to stabilize yourself there. Right. Then again with our tempo pistol into step up, just nice and slow and controlled on the way down, just go as low as you can and then come up and do a step up. Right. So three legs, three, three legs each rep, <laughs> three reps each leg. Right, and then you do it each side there. Right. So this time for the scorpion, and as always, if that just by itself, doing the scorpion is a challenge, then stick to doing that. But if you are able to do that reasonably well and you want to progress, then what you're going to try and do is a jumping scorpion. And this is, when I swing my back leg over, I'm just trying to get some air. So that back leg that comes over, as you can see, I step back leg, jumps off the ground. So we're just trying to get some dynamic movement there where you're getting both feet off the ground at the same time when you swing the back leg over. Right. For the third round, once again, you can do it either on the box, as I've shown you, or preferably, because it's harder, on the parallettes. So what you'll do here is you'll go into your L-sit position and you'll do a flutter for 15 seconds, like that. You'll then do a side flutter for 15 seconds, then you do inside circles and outside circles. Trying to keep your legs as straight as possible. Right? Now that's only if you're able to hold a good position on the L hold in the previous round before. If you're still working on the L hold, then stick with that and don't progress. Then you'll do the renegade row, once again, 15 reps each arm. Now as I said before, try and use a challenging weight for that. If they're too light, you won't get the effect out of it and you'll surprise yourself with how much weight you're able to do. And then one more time, you'll do a tempo pistol, so slow on the way down, and 
step up and then slow as you can on the way down from the step up as well. So try not to rush through those, only three each leg. And then to finish, you'll do a jumping scorpion again. So same again, we're just trying to get air time when I rotate with those feet. And that's it.